Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving quadratic equations by factoring. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 28n squared equals a negative 96 minus 184m, and we need to solve this by factoring. First thing is, I'm going to add my right-hand side to the left-hand side. I'm just bring it all over. Doing that, I have a 28n squared, then a positive 184n, then a positive 96 equals 0. So it's not too bad, but I want to simplify this a little first. 4 goes into each part here. So we plot a 4, where we have a, well, 4 goes into 28n uh, squared, 7n squared, then we have a 46n, pull out a 4 there, and then a 24, and that's equal to 0. Well, don't leave the 4 there, so if I divide both sides by 4, oh, not 7, 4 here, that cancels, and we're left with a 7n squared plus 46n plus 24 equals 0 divided by 4, which is 0. So now we have a quadratic equal to 0. Let's factor it. My a value is 7, and 7 is a, well, what two numbers multiply to be it? 1 and 7. My c value is 24. Let's list all, list all the numbers that multiply together to be 24. 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, and 4 and 6. All right. So we have all these multiples, so now what? Well, I have to ask myself, 1 times which number plus 7 times the other number gets us a 46. And the pair it has to be a 1 and 7, but the second pair is the 4 and the 6. So 7 times a, uh, what is it, 6 is 42. 1 times the 4 is equal to 4. Add them together. I get a 46. So 4 and 6 and 1 and 7 are my two pairs. So this factor has to be 7n and then n here equals 0. 7 got multiplied by the 6, so this plus 6 has to go in the second parenthesis. 1 got multiplied by the 4, we put a plus 4 here. So now we have 7n plus 4 times n plus 6 equal to 0. Let's go solve that. We set both parts individually equal to 0. So we have 7n plus 4 equals 0, and then n plus 6 equal to 0. And now let's solve. Subtract a 4 to both sides, pretty easy. 7n equals a negative 4. Divide both sides by 7, and n equals a negative 4 sevenths. Second equation, subtract a 6 to both sides, and n equals a negative 6 here. Negative 4 sevenths and a negative 6 my two values, we can write it as one statement. So n equals a negative 4 sevenths and a negative 6, and that is my final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.